God, you can't beat this football. Three wide receivers set. And the quick slant is dropped, and Rod Gardner, the rookie from Clemson, has had a problem hanging on to the football all season long. This is set up for him perfectly. He's got the tight end there to block for him. It's a little quick wide receiver screen. He practiced all week. After practice, he stayed late. He practiced catching the football, and it, it has not paid off. Redskins 0-5. Panthers 1-4. And, and they will start from their own 47-yard line. Once again, terrific field position for Carolina. Wesley Walls in motion. Winking to the air for the first time, and it's complete. Donald Hayes, first down, and more. Hayes down to the Redskins, 26. A gain of 27 yards. Dorian Boos finally chased Hayes down. Hayes and Muhammad, both big guys against a smaller group of defensive backs. And there you see Hayes just runs right through Dale Green. From the 26, Winky on first down over the middle to Lucin Muhammad. Winky on second and ten over the top to Donald Hayes. Inside the five, down to the two. A 13-yard pickup, another Panthers first down. Now this is vintage West Coast offense. It's a little crossing route, and they get a mismatch. The, the Redskins drop back in their zone. Here's Pierce, and he's got to cover this crossing route here. Tight end Chris Mangum in the backfield with Hoover on second and goal. Off the fake to Hoover, winking to the end zone. Touchdown, Wesley Wall. This is what Wesley Walls does best. Catches touchdown passes inside the red zone. He's a clutch player. One of the best tight ends ever. He's the Panthers' all-time leader in touchdowns, now with 39. As John Casey adds the extra point. On first down, Stephen Davis up the middle. Davis out to the 43-yard line, a gain of 23 yards. Rashard Anderson finally brought him down. On second and ten from the 44. Banks to the air once again, and this one is caught in Carolina territory by Rod Gardner. His first catch of the game, good for eight yards. Here's Davis. Looks to have the first down. Lester Towns made the tackle. I Davis don't, moving I don't to the outside. It. It's I, close. I, it is close. That looks short from here, but you know what? If you're 0-5, this is one you don't even think about. You just go for it. Fourth and inches from the Carolina 43. Gardner in motion. Backs on the keeper. Just short. Wow. That's as good as a turnover for the Carolina Panthers. Banks changing the play. And now he'll change. Now look at the defense is changing too. Third and five. He swings one in there. Evans got it. Evans with an interception in his fifth consecutive game. Doug Evans. That is the inflexibility of this Redskins offense. They change the play. The Panthers change the defense. The play set. It's called. They run right into coverage, and Evans just has to stand there and pick it off. The pitch on first down to Bianca Matuka. Hurdles his way down to the 42-yard line. A gain of five. Bianca Matuka up the middle. Has the first down, down to the Redskins, 36, down to 25. Winky to the near side, Muhammad breaks one tackle. Has another first down, he's inside the Redskins, 10. Finally brought down by Eddie Mason. Two tight end set, Chris Mangum in the game, number 86. Pass intended for Walls, broken up by David Terrell. Very nice play by Terrell. Panthers have not converted on a third down today. They are 0 for 2. Yep. And I think Muhammad is back in the game, and he's the other nice weapon 
down here. Another nice big body, him and Don Hayes. Winky in trouble. It's picked off by Bernard Lang. he comes and puts on Chris Winky. Look at him. There he is on the blitz. Winky tries to dump this off. He wants to go to Muhammad, as we said. And Kennard Lang this just makes a beautiful play for a defensive lineman. That's, that's fantastic athleticism. Here's Muhammad, just like we said. That's where Winky wants to go. But the blitz works. From the 26. <laughs> off the play fake. Pass is caught for a first down out of the 42-yard line. It's Kevin Lockett, his second catch today for a gain of 16 yards. Here comes Cooper, and he drops off. First down, Redskins. It's Lockett who has become Banks' go-to yep. guy this afternoon, his third catch of the day. Here's Davis on first down. He fumbled it. Sean Gilbert got it. Steven Davis, the GOAT, in the final drive of last Monday night's game in Dallas. He fumbled. That set up the Cowboys game-winning field goal. And with the Redskins on the move in Panthers territory late in the first half, Davis coughs it up again. The Redskins' 18th fumble of the season in game six. So they fumble three times per game. Winky to the fullback, Brad Hoover. Hoover up to the 48-yard line. A gain of seven. Third and four. Wendell's oh, pass a nice this. catch. Terrific catch made by Isaac Bird for the first down. As we hit the two-minute warning. They throw Carolina 7 nothing Off the fake to the Akimatuka. Wenke hits the Akimatuka. And he works his way down to the Redskins 26 for a Panthers first down. Panthers have all three of their timeouts if needed. A handoff to Bianca Matuka. That second effort with the push down to the Washington 18 before he was brought down by the Redskins leading tackler the last two seasons, Sam Shea. First and 10 from the 18. Ricky Puck fakes and then dumps it off to Haynes. Breaks one tackle. And that is brought down by Arrington after a gain of four at the Redskins 14. Second down and six. Winky with time finds his man Isaac Bird inside the Redskins 10. Brought down by Arrington. Third down and one from the nine. Mangum shifting. Brad Hoover has the first down and more all the way down to the Washington one. Second and goal from the two. Winky's pass, battle down and picked off. Intercepted by Otis Leverett. You called it. Beautiful defense by the Redskins. And Steven Davis is off the hook. Watch him right in the center here. Watch him jump up. Look at him. He jumps up. There he is. He bats that ball into the air. And Leverett, <laughs> it's like a Christmas present for Leverett. So the Panthers lead by a touchdown at the half. Second and eight. Play action. Winky taken down by Kevin Mitchell. His first sack of the year. Redskins found the key to success. It's called the blitz. Here comes Mitchell. Look at him. Absolutely untouched. Kevin Mitchell is a strong, fast guy, and, and he unloads on Chris Winkie. Now, Kenny, this offense for the Redskins have been so inept that during the next last break, the fans started yelling for Sonny. They were calling for Sonny Jurgensen to come in and 
try to get something going on this Redskins offense. Redskins fans have no doubt they want Sonny Jurgensen back into the game. So do I. Winky rolling right, and the pass is caught again. It's Isaac Bird, his fifth catch of the day. The Akimatuka inside the 30, down to the 25, a gain of nine. The Akimatuka inside the 15, down to the 10. Wow. Well, we said Bianca Matuka needs to get his confidence back, and he put some confidence on Tyrone Williams. From the 10, Bianca Matuka is still on his feet, and he is in for the touchdown. And he may have just punched the Redskins' defensive lights right out. Casey adds the point after third and ten. The pass deflected and cutted for Rod Gardner. Another blitz by the Panthers' defense. And another third down conversion. Foiled for the Redskins' offense. Worst in the league at these third down conversions. Teammates called KGB. As oh, the man, the yeah. breaks free. And is chased down at the 31-yard line by Kevin Mitchell, a gain of 27 yards. Well, I said that Bianca Batuka punched the lights out of this Redskins defense, and here you see it. They are just folding the tent here, blocks up front by the Panthers' offensive line, and then running through another tackle there. David Terrell just bounces off Bianca Batuka like he's made a Teflon. Whoop. Adding to his totals. Down to the Redskins, 28, now 112 yards on the day. you got to have a passing game to win in the National Football League with the rules as they are today. And the Panthers have got a passing game. The Redskins don't. Winky is picked off by LeVar Arrington. And Arrington will take it all the way. Seven yards. The Panthers have been getting cute going all day to the fullback. Brad Hoover's touched the ball several times. This time they go to Chris Hetherington, another fullback. The timing between he and Wenke is off. Hetherington pops it up, and LeVar Arrington. Gives the Redskins their first points of the day and keeps them alive in this football game. For the Redskins, as Conway adds the point after, it is only their third touchdown of the season in 24 quarters. And it's scored by the defense. It's Fred Smoot and Bruce Smith. So even the injured Washington defenders getting in on whipping up this crowd. From the 17, Wakey dumping it off to the Oh! Wow! David Terrell, along with Eddie Mason, converging to take down the Akimituka, and the Panthers will have to punt. Wow, that is swarming defense, closing on this play, along with Daryl Green and David Terrell. Bam! They take Bianca Batuka out. There's Fred Smoot. He's right there. He wishes he had the pads on right now. Thanks. I think he's very out. good. He's wide open. Rod Gardner. Touchdown, Rod. Oh, my goodness. 85 yards. Wow. Until now, when it counts the most, 
Gardner was wide open behind that Panthers defense. And it is a very well thrown ball. The Redskins have tied it. Let's take another look. Yeah, watch it right here. He breaks to the inside, then to the outside. This safety is supposed to be over the top. This is a blown coverage. The cornerback is see Evans is playing cover two, and the safety is playing a different coverage. And Gardner is wide open. This time, Tony Banks is able to deliver the strike. put themselves into this third and very long situation by playing it very conservative running on first down while they go to walls they go to walls too late first and ten Redskins from their own 35 play action Banks complete first catch of the day for Michael Westbrook into Panthers territory as he signals first down Huge play for the Redskins on third and three. Banks hits Gardner for a gain of 20. Boy, he has just come on big and strong here at the end. And the Redskins again take advantage of Jimmy Hitchcock. Third and three. Redskins go for it all. Third down and eight. Redskins play it safe, keep it on the ground with Davis. How tight do you think Stephen Davis was hanging onto that football? 31 yard attempt for Conway. Barker puts it down, and Conway's kick is no good. Oh, my goodness. How about Marty Schottenheimer? Unbelievable. How do you think he feels right now? Panthers are going to go with a kneel down and send this one into overtime. It is a head. New button test. Pass. You're going to receive. Which end do you want to kick from? All right, swing around. Washington has won the toss. They've elected to receive. Good luck, man. the fake handoff to Westbrook and Banks pass is caught by Brian Johnson the That's fullback his second catch of the game a gain of 33 yards you talk about Tony Banks ability to throw the ball watch Banks drop this ball right in the bucket watch it folks right over the shoulder of the coverage so the Redskins with some breathing room from their own 48-yard line. Play action. Banks steps up. Airing it out. And a diving catch is made touchdown. by Gardner. Touchdown to the Redskins. They win in overtime. Their first win of the season. Beautiful throw by Tony Banks. And Rod Gardner goes over 200 yards receiving for the two touchdowns he's had today. Watch Gardner get himself wide open. He's got Doug Evans with the underneath coverage. Now they're reviewing the play up in the, the officials booth to see if Gardner was down by contact. After reviewing the play, it's been determined that the runner was down by contact. Boy. 
as I said, that's the gray area. That's where the technicality comes in or the fudge factor. Is this indisputable that his foot touches the helmet of Rod Gardner? The officials say that's indisputable. I say it isn't. They have the final say. You know, I, I just I just don't see it. I mean, it, 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 it looks like maybe, but I don't think you can see it for sure. But Redskins have the ball on the four-yard line. So instead of a 52-yard touchdown pass, it's a 48-yard pass play from Banks to Gardner. And now Marty yep. Schottenheimer will not take any chances. He sends Brett Conway onto the field to attempt the field goal. 23-yard attempt. Take two. The Redskins win it. And as good as Tony Banks' long passes were at the end of this game, you have to credit this Washington defense that held in there several times in the red zone to come up with big turnovers and take away Carolina points. Rod Gardner with two touchdowns and over 200 yards today after starting out with a couple of drops. Marty Schottenheimer's first win as coach of the Redskins. They are now 6-0 all time against the Panthers.